What is going on guys, it is WrestleGamia here, back with another video. Now the 2K series has taken a lot of flack this year for the downgrades in its graphics and character models, with some complaining they look cartoonish and absolutely nothing like the wrestlers they're supposed to look like. Unfortunately, this isn't anything new as every WWE game has its share of bad character models. Usually, the wrestlers who are considered lower priority are hit the hardest by this, but as we'll see, this is not always the case. Even the biggest superstars in the WWE at that time could look awful. Be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell, because today we're going to look at the worst character models in every SmackDown game since WWF SmackDown for PS1. Just a note, some of these aren't the worst looking models in history, just that particular game. WWF SmackDown Paul Bearer the PlayStation 1 graphics haven't aged well in today's world, so we have to look at this one within the context of the time. But even with that in mind, there's no excuse for Paul Bearer looking like something of a cross between Desperate Dan and Fred Flintstone in the debut game in the SmackDown franchise, which hilariously went by the name of Exciting Pro Wrestling in Japan. Bearer was never the most aesthetically blessed man, God bless him, but this is just flat out insulting. WWF SmackDown 2 Know Your Role, Trish Stratus while Paul Bearer wasn't exactly one of the better looking members of the roster to start off with, Trish Stratus clearly falls into the high end of that spectrum in any era. You would have never known this based on her character model in the second installment of the SmackDown series. She looks more like a mannequin with a wig on in this one. It's funnier when you see her enter with her real life entrance video playing behind her, showing just how much a difference there is. WWF SmackDown Just Bring It, Fred Durst Oh, the early 2000s, what a weird time you were. The Monday Night Wars were still raging, the Lord of the Rings was breaking the box office, and Limp Bizkit was topping the charts. Well, one of those three certainly hasn't aged well. Just Bring It was the third edition of the SmackDown series, where the aforementioned band's frontman Fred Durst invaded our select screens, and it wasn't even a good likeness of him just to rub salt in the wound. You'd think for such a high profile entry where they would have shifted a lot more cock, they would have put a bit more effort into his character model. To be fair, he looks better in WWF Raw. WWE Smackdown Shut Your Mouth, Devon Dudley. Poor Devon didn't fare well in this year's version of the game, as this was during his ill fated brother Devon gimmick, which would have the silver lining of introducing us to Deacon Batista. Devon got the short end of that storyline and the short end of this game's character model, as you can see here. WWE Smackdown Here Comes the Pain, Eric Bischoff This one has to rank among one of the worst in WWE video game history. Easy e has gotten a lot of flack for having a Ken doll-like appearance early in his career, but this has taken it to the extremes. He looks like a poor attempt at a creator wrestler version of himself, with the game developers managing to capture none of the smarm, or let's be honest, the fantastic hair of the at the time general manager of Raw. WWE Smackdown vs Raw, Brutus the Barber Beefcake We're not sure exactly what game developers Ukes were going for when they came up with this character model of the WWE legend and Hall of Famer in the inaugural Smackdown vs Raw game, but it's hard to imagine it was Brutus Beefcake. Rather than looking like the man of a thousand bad gimmicks, he appears to have more of a generic 80s movie school bully look to him. Buzz from Home Alone with a mullet springs to mind. WWE Smackdown vs Raw 2006, Michelle McCool Let's face it, divas have never been treated with the same quality and care as most of the male roster. However, in the 2006 edition of Smackdown vs Raw, the developers at least invested 5 minutes more into developing the female models. However, those extra 5 minutes may have gone amiss with former two-time women's and divas champion Michelle McCool. The model in game looks pretty much nothing like her, and instead looks like a generic female creator wrestler. Hell, the developers even got Joy Giovanni pretty similar to her real life self, even though she was in the promotion for a cup of coffee. WWE Smackdown vs Raw 2007, Dusty Rhodes Another WWE legend who got the shaft in terms of character models. You have to wonder if anyone designing this game had ever seen Dusty Rhodes, if this is what they thought he looked like. If you squint, it could almost pass for his son Dustin, but that's not much consolation either. WWE Smackdown vs Raw 2008, Bret the Hitman Hart What were Ukes doing to our beloved WWE legends at this point in time? Bret Hart looks more like a caveman that stumbled upon some wrestling gear than the five-time former WWE Champion in this model. Hasn't the man suffered enough over the years? 
It wasn't Brett who screwed Brett in this game, this time it was Ukes who screwed Brett. WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2009 The Bushwhackers This is a joint entry because both members of the New Zealand team look just as bad as each other here. Similar to Paul Bearer, these two were never winning any best looking superstar competitions, but come on guys, did you really have to do them like this? The former sheep herders look like they've been through a lobotomy, and we know they were never portrayed as the smartest men in the room, but they were never this bad. WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2010 Shawn Michaels The Heartbreak Kid has never had the best character models in WWE video games, but this one is particularly egregious. We think that the hair is the biggest issue here, it just looks off and plastic. We don't know why it was so hard to get the look right, but this isn't the only time we'll be discussing Shawn in this video as WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2011, Shawn Michaels again. And right on cue. Look, we don't want to pick on Shawn Michaels, he's arguably the greatest in-ring performer in history, but these character models are not showing him at his best. That year's edition had two playable versions of him, one which featured a poodle-like mullet hairdo from his earlier days that manages to be even worse than his main look. WWE 12, Booker T. Nah nah, they did book a dirty in his model in WWE 12. If you look at his model in TNA Impact, a game which was released 3 years earlier, he looks 20 times better. To add insult to injury, the exact same model was used the following year, but we won't pick on him twice. Well, negate Shawn Michaels. WWE 13, AJ Lee Poor AJ Lee, what have they done to you? Probably the most over and most charismatic woman on the roster at this time, Lee deserved better than this poor attempt. You would think given that this was part of WWE 13's DLC pack, Ukes would have had extra time to work on this one. To be fair, they would improve her model in future years, but this was a bad entry into the series for the former Divas Champion. It's probably the true reason why CM Punk hates the WWE, we're pretty sure of that. WWE 2K14, Roman Reigns this would be the first game where The Shield would make an appearance in a WWE video game, and knowing that they were the hottest act in the WWE at the time, you would have thought that Ukes would get their models right. Well, 2 out of 3 isn't bad, as Ambrose and Rollins look acceptable, but what in the world happened to Roman Reigns? His face is just all wrong and he looks too small in game. He's supposed to be the biggest out of the group, yet he looks no bigger than his teammates. WWE 2K15, Vince McMahon on PS3 Ok, to be fair, gameplay and features aside, WWE 2K15, which was the first wrestling game to hit current generation of consoles, looked great. Most of the wrestlers were on point, so it was hard to come up with a wrestler for this list, but then we looked at the previous generation version on PlayStation 3, and boy did they mess up Vince McMahon. Like what happened? He looked fine in WWE 2K14, but here… yikes! WWE 2K16, Renee Young well, we couldn't very well ignore this one, could we? It's perhaps become known as the worst character model in WWE game history, and we've discussed it in a previous video. There's a sense of eerie horror about this one. Never have the 2K series fallen as hard into Uncanny Valley as they did here. Renee took this one in good humour, tweeting out, Oh good, I finally got braces, in response to seeing this one. WWE 2K17, Dana Brooke Another memorable one for all the wrong reasons, Dana Brooke's character model in 2K17 has the same problem as many of Shawn Michaels' past iterations. Her eyes look like they're about to bug out of her head, and her lips appear to have been the victim of an unfortunate lip job botch. This has to have been a rib, right? WWE 2K18, Vince McMahon There were a lot of bad entries we could have chosen from WWE 2K18, but none of them were quite as bad as the chairman himself. His face is an absolute mess here. That said, if the boss was willing to allow this to fly for himself, then we suppose others can't complain too badly about how their models are. Well, maybe Shawn Michaels. We don't want to harp on that too much, but it's the heartbreak kid, goddammit! WWE 2K19, Lana Another one so bad that it caused the superstar in question to take to Twitter to voice their disapproval, though this time in a less jovial tone. Alana wasn't shy about letting 2K know about how bad her model looked when she tweeted, Who is this? Never have I worn that gear or wrestled with short hair, so I'm very confused who this woman is. To be fair, she's got a point. And WWE 2K20, Molly Holly. To be honest, we could have gone with a whole selection of terribly modelled wrestlers in the latest edition of the 2K series, ranging from Candice LeRae to The Rock, 
but there was one model in particular that just looked plain awful, that being Molly Holly. Now we could forgive the likes of China and Randy Savage as they sadly aren't here to use face scanning technology, but Molly is, and this was the best that they could come up with. She looks like Rosie O'Donnell. But there you have it guys, the worst character model in every Smackdown game since WWF Smackdown. Be sure to leave your comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling video game content.